What's good YouTube? It's your boy Dilly TV guys and I am back with my Slim Reaper build aka KD. Now, let's start off by saying this guys, obviously the builder is complex, so you can change this. It's a template, you can change it to whatever you want. I just use it for my playstyle and how I think this best represents KD. Now, we're now it's very hard to get like dribble sigs and styles and animations, but we figured out a way you know, just, you know, messing around with the game and messing around with the builder. I'm left-handed. We know KD's right-handed. You can do what you want. Um, since it's KD, I want to go to where it was prime KD, not number seven as we know now. I want to go to 35 KD. That's the OKC KD that I know. Now, moving forward, we're going to go to small forward. You can go to point power forward if you want. I just like small forward because if sometimes in the wreck, if you don't have a center, it bumps you down a peg. So it would make me the power forward. And if you were the power forward, it would drop you down the center and it's pretty much a waste of time there. So we're gonna go 6'11", yes, 6'11". I know you guys are gonna think, what the heck? Katie's not 6'9", he's not 6'10", he's almost seven foot. So we're gonna get 6'11", trust and believe me, it'll all work out. Wait, we're gonna go to 226, okay? And then the wingspan, we're gonna go to a 7'5". We don't have to have a 6'10", 6'11", wingspan. We don't need it, guys. All you really need is an 85 mid-range to get some pretty good like jump shot animations, and that's what we're gonna have here. Now, close shot's gonna be an 80, so you already know that you can actually make some pretty good close shots. Your driving layup is going to be a 70, so so far, so good. Driving dunk is gonna be an 86, guys, just that way you can get posterizer, okay? Posterizer, you don't see it now, but when we increase our you know physicals, you'll see it. Um, also gives you whistle, which is actually a pretty good badge this year. I've been playing some micro uh, video builds, you know, and, uh, you know, it's been pretty well for me, so I definitely like it there. Um, I'm gonna have some videos dropping out real soon, so make sure you guys watch out for that as well. Um, 75 standing dunk, and then we're gonna go to an 85 post control just to give us unpluckable on silver. Silver and gold seem to be the like reoccurring thing here when like playing gameplay and stuff like that. Ho some Hall of Fame badges are OP, some are not. Some people can't tell the difference, so we're gonna rock with a lot of silver and gold badges because they just pretty much are identical. Three pointer, we're gonna go up to an 80. I know KD has more than an 80, but again, you have to go with the builder. And then of course, like I said, mid range on 85. Really, really good build. As you guys can see, open looks is a good badge. I've been using it this year, it's really good. Dead eyes are good badge this year. It's actually been popping up a lot better. Um, and the spot finder, we're gonna have that upgraded here eventually when we add into our physical. So that's also another good badge right there. Moving on to the pass accuracy, we're gonna go to a 75. That's gonna give us a lot of uh, playmaking badges. Ball handle is gonna go to a 70, and speed with ball is going to be a 66. Defensively, you're not a slouch, but you're not the best there either. You're kind of right there in the middle, um, like all around. Interior, we're gonna go up to a 72. Our perimeter, we're gonna go up to a 71, giving us challenger on bronze. Steel is going to be a 60, so that way we get interceptor on bronze. Block is going to be an 87. Just that way, that way we can get anchor on silver. Now, this is where the build takes a little bit of sacrifice, but trust me and believe me that it's actually not bad at all. Your defensive rebound is going to go up to a 77, okay? And then your offensive rebound is gonna to go to a 45. Your speed with ball is gonna be a 70, or sorry, excuse me, speed is gonna be a 70. Your acceleration is going to be a 65. Your strength is going to be an 84. You're not going to get bullied going to the paint. Vertical, 78. And then, of course, our stamina is going to be a 94. That is the build right there, guys. Oh, sorry, I missed the free throw. Free throw is going to be a 71 just so you can get those free points. That's my apologies. So stamina is it's 94, ladies and gentlemen. This is the build. I'm going to move up, move, you know, go through the, you know, attributes slowly so you can see, so you can see what badges you get. All in all, it's not a bad build. I actually like this build. I was playing, you know, some my career. I was playing some uh, 3v3 and the builder and everything. It's actually not a bad build. You can actually get some pretty cool animations with just some bronze and silver badges. Um, and this build can definitely shoot. It's not, trust and believe me when I say this, it's not as bad as you think it is. A lot of people can say, oh, 83 ball, I'm good. You can actually shoot really, really well with an 80 this year. Um, and then the finishing is actually pretty good. I get some contact dunks and I don't miss around the rim. So. That is the build, guys. You know, you're gonna see a lot of these names in the park, because that's just, it is what it is. I mean, they keep using this name the whole time this year. I think they gotta come up with some better names. But as you can see, it is a three-level threat. Lamar Odom, Jaden McDaniels, and Jason Tatum. I think this is KD. That's just my personal opinion. None of these guys are 6'11", but it is what it is, guys. This is your boy, Dilly TV. Thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget that like button. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.